Today I have some easy air dry clay projects to share with you. Let's make some cool things out of clay. All of which are beginner air dry clay ideas. These have a spring and Easter theme, but you can adapt for absolutely any time of year. So let's create some gorgeous air dry clay items. A big hello and warm welcome from me. If you're new here, I'm Sarah from Red Rocking Bird. I have some fresh out of the packet air dry clay to work with. I like to knead it a little bit and then smooth out all the cracks. I have five great projects to share with you in this quick 10 minutes, so please do stay till the end. Here I'm making some little egg holders and you'll see how they come together and they're really quick and super easy and lots of fun. I roll the clay to about this thickness on a smooth tile or smooth surface with a rolling pin or jar and then I take a card or a wet finger and smooth out and make sure everything is lovely and smooth. I have a little chick template that I just drew and cut out of card, roll this over and we have a guide to be able to cut that out. Little chicks aren't just for Easter, they're for all year round and I'm sure you can think of lots of little designs that you could use for this little egg holder. As a beginner it's really great to start with lots of two dimensional designs but we do move on to sculpting the clay a little bit later. You can use a knife again or a little cookie cutter like this and cut a small hole in the centre. Going fairly thick with the clay for this project works even better. A tiny bit of smoothing out with a wet brush means we don't have to sand too much later. Carry on rolling out and making more of these little chicks so that you have a full set and don't forget to flip that template over if you want some in the opposite direction. I place this on my smooth tile and let it dry fully. While drying you can turn over and press down again just to make sure they dry really flat. I've let mine dry for about two full days just to make sure it's 100% dry. Then some fine sandpaper takes away those rough edges. Straight onto the fully dried clay I've painted a base coat of acrylic paint, just yellow and white paint together and I've given this one or two coats of base coat. Added some fine details again in acrylic paints and then varnished them. How fun and cute are these, I absolutely love them, I really do. With these foil wrapped chocolate eggs, they really would make a great gift. On to our second air dry clay project, another really fun one. I've rolled out the clay in the same way, fairly thick this time, and cut out a nice rounded square shape. Smoothing it out with a little water on my finger. Taking a sharp tool or a scalpel, I'm drawing on nine little squares just like this, so there's a nice border in between each. Now I'm gouging out the clay in the centre. This is a shop bought tool, but you can make these tools yourself if you do have a look at this other video. It's a lot of fun and you can make your own DIY air dry clay tools. With a little piece of damp sponge, I'm smoothing everything out. Can you tell what I'm making yet? I bet you think I'm making a paint palette. Well you can make paint palettes in this way but I'm making something slightly different. I make a coil of clay, cut it at the same intervals and roll these into little balls. That way you get all the little pieces the same size. I'm using the end of a knife but you can use anything similar and I made a lovely little dent in the air dry clay there and then with the back of the knife I'm creating some other little dents and adding in some details and these are going to be little cute flowers. So definitely have a look around you and see what you have that you would be able to use with the clay. It can inspire and prompt lots of new little projects and just have fun and enjoy yourself. So I have one set of little flowers and then I'm doing the same again and making some other shapes. So can you tell what I'm making yet? Here are my pieces, lovely and dry. You can sand the little square if you wish, but the little pieces should be fine. I'm sure this gives it away, my version of noughts and crosses or tic-tac-toe. With the acrylic paints, I'm painting all of them with some lovely bright colours. 
I do one half and place it down and let it dry. The good thing about acrylic paint, it really doesn't take long to dry at all. So once you've done one half and you've done the rest, you come back and turn them over and paint the other half and then the job's done. You can give them one or two coats of paint if you wish, just see how well the paint goes on. They are so cute, they're absolutely adorable. I hope you think so too, and I hope it's the kind of thing you're going to give a go. Another great project idea that's excellent to give as a gift, so you can make one of these and personalize it to somebody that you know. And I know the recipient would think a lot of thought, effort and love has been put into something like this, and you make something special to give as a gift. Really let everything dry really well in between, add lots of detail and just enjoy the process. I love doing dots, it's so therapeutic and there were many on here, I had a great time painting this. You could do so many variations and cute projects based around this. What design would you do yours? Please do comment below. I think this is a really great beginner project, just make sure you take your time. In contrast, here is the quickest and simplest of ideas. With a scalpel, I freehand a teardrop in the clay. Making a hole in the top with my paintbrush and an indent with my knife. In the air dry clay this time, I add some texture. So I take the end of my paintbrush and I'm just making some small strokes into the clay. If you don't like smoothing out the clay, then adding texture is a really great option. Finished super quick, I let these dry fully. Adding colour to the fully dried clay can be super quick and easy as well. Here I have a sponge which I just dampened slightly in the water. I've got some watered down acrylic paint and look how quickly and easily we can paint on there. Just let it dry fully and then add some tiny little details. If you're giving as a gift, don't forget to seal these, but they are super quick, super easy, and really quite effective. I hope you have a go at these as well. Always collect up the little scraps of air dry clay and knead them back together. They come back together in a lovely smooth ball when you do this, and then you can use the clay as if it was fresh out of the packet. I roll the clay into a thick coil shape and then I roll it into a nice thin pyramid. Pressing down more firmly on one side than the other for our next really simple clay project. This is going to be a ring holder so you can do them absolutely any size you wish, just make sure they're thin enough at the top for the rings to fit on. So that the clay dries more evenly, I make a hole in the base like this which makes most of it a similar thickness so that when it dries, it dries nice and evenly. Shape it in whatever way you wish, as I say, for your rings to go on and then I like to add a little detail on the top here adding a little flower or you could add a bird or absolutely anything of your choice. It's fun to just sculpt and play with the clay. I'll leave this bit of detail to dry separately for now and then once fully dry I can super glue this onto the top and then paint. So they are now fully dry and we can move on to painting. Again I'm painting these with acrylic paint and just add absolutely any detail you wish. A really fun and bright project that you can always use up those clay scraps on. If you make lots of the same shape or various shapes and then add some holes into these, they're really fun to put up as garlands throughout the different seasons of the year. Here I have the bunny rabbit, again using a template to mark out each shape so that each one is exactly the same, or as I say, you can do multiple and different designs all within the one. Once dry, after giving these a gentle sanding, I'm going to add some clear matte varnish and I'm going to glue on some little details, but first I've strung them together with string. This nice twine works really well. All these would look really lovely if we painted them in the way that I painted the pieces earlier. I'm going to glue on some little dried flowers and the bows and I think they will look really beautiful that way. Something really lovely to hang up as some home decor. 
With all the air dry clay I've shown you in this video, do make sure you seal it after painting it with a lacquer or a varnish. If you're unsure about the varnish to use, I think you will find the video linked above particularly valuable. Just have fun with your air dry clay and have a play and experiment. Take a look at the videos that have come on the screen now, I'm sure you will enjoy. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.